Okay, so this one is a bar mace. I tried to just do a very simplistic design. Um, if you know what a bar mace is, it's basically just a long, thin mace. This is more of a cross between a Kenobo, which is basically a bar mace, and a medieval bar mace. So I was just trying to go with a very simple design. For one thing, to show everyone that mild steel works no matter what form it's in. I do not do things with high temper, high grade steel, because when you make it out of scraps, it's much cheaper. In fact, this is completely free for me. Um, I could, sometime I'll just test a steel pipe just by itself, just to show you guys, you don't have to have a fancy design, and you can just use mild steel, and it does a lot of damage, no matter what you hit with it. And so I'm just testing a coconut with this because a cabbage will, it's useless. I mean, this would go straight through a cabbage. Cabbages really are only good for testing cuts. So I'm going to try the infamous baseball swing that never seems to work, except with maces, then it works, but we will see. Here it goes. I would say that worked very nicely. As you can see, something even as simple as a bar mace, which is, this is pretty much just a pipe with four square stock welded onto it, half inch square stock, and that is very, very effective. And as some of you may know, a coconut is harder to crack than a skull. So yeah, that was uh, very effective. I like it. It's a very simple design, but it's very effective, easy to use. If you can swing sideways at it and still destroy it that much, that's pretty good. Hitting on a downward strike doesn't really say much because you're sandwiching it in between the weapon and the wood, so it's easy to break something like that. That's that, so thank you for watching. That's all for now.